so before we really start talking about definitions related to acceptance sampling let's look at acceptance sampling standards so there are some standards codes rule books which tell that how do you operate when you want to do acceptance sampling so when we talk of acceptance sampling there are two types of acceptance sampling attribute and variable attributes are counts numbers variables are actual measurements so let's say when i had a case where i had iron balls which i was buying i was buying let's say millions of these iron balls and there was a fixed weight which i wanted on the average that these balls should have this much as the weight in attribute sampling i will take some samples check those balls and see how many of these actually meet the criteria and how many do not meet how many are acceptable how many are rejectable so when i do this count the counting of acceptance versus rejection that is attribute sampling in attribute sampling i am talking about go no go yes no pass fail that's attribute sampling whereas in variable sampling i will be taking the measurement of those balls find out the mean of the balls and based on that mean i will judge or the guess about the mean weight of the whole population so most of the examples which you see here in the early phase of these lectures will be related to attribute sampling so let's keep our focus on attribute sampling and this is something which we did earlier in the initial example where we had 1000 pieces and we took 80 samples if the number of defective items are less than 3 we accept the lot if it's more than 4 then we reject the lot this was attribute sampling because here we were talking about the count how many defectives less than that we accept more than that we reject variable would be taking the actual measurement finding out the mean that is slightly more complicated but we will cover that at the very end so now looking at the codes and standards related to these two types of sampling there were military codes earlier mil standard 105 for attribute sampling mil standard 414 for variable sampling these are still available even though these have been withdrawn many people still use that because these are available for free now an another version of that has come which is nc asq z1.4 and z1.9 z1.4 is for attribute sampling and z1.9 is for variable sampling and then in attribute sampling there is another plan which is called as dodge roaming plan we will be talking briefly about this plan as well but most of our lectures will be based on these military standards there is not much of difference between military standards and asq z1.4 and 1.9 even though the asq cqe body of knowledge specifically mentions z1.4 and z1.9 but using standard 105 and 414 these military standards these will be equally fine so these are the one i will be using in these tutorials so with this now let's move on to the definition of acceptable quality limit and rejectable quality limit and then we will learn about one more thing called as oc curve operating characteristic curve let's look at these aspects step by step <laughs> 